Hey guys, Sugar Diamond here, and welcome to part two of the Easter Crafts. So, if you haven't seen part one, the description, the link will be in the description box down below. But check that out after this. In part one, we made some adorable Easter eggs. So let's start making some Easter baskets. The first thing that you want to do is get a circular object that you want it to be for the size of whatever you're planning on making. So I think that this bottle cap is a good size. You can do this for any like um, doll or whatever. So the first thing you want to do is you're going to want to take your craft film. And once you have it, you are going to want to um, take your circular object and press it down into the foam until it leaves an indent in the foam. Then you're going to want to cut that out. Once it is all cut out, what you then want to do is cut out another piece of foam and you want it to be about one and a half or two centimeters tall, depending on how, how tall you want your basket to be. You can make it taller or shorter if you want. I have mine marked at one and a half centimeters and then you're going to want to take your ruler and just go straight across. And once you went straight across, you're then just going to want to cut out this little strip that you made. Now that I have my strip all cut out, this is the time that you can add detail if you want. You can either use a pen and draw lines to make like a checkered, like an actual Easter basket, or you can take a toothpick and you can just sort of score it on the good side. have my foam all nicely um, scored so it gives it really nice detail. Now you want to take your circular piece and sort of just make sure everything lines up and you want the um, pattern sign to be on the outside and so over here as you can see mine overlaps so I want to cut it right about here. So now you can take your tacky glue or you can use a hot glue gun depending on how fast or quickly you want to dry. But if you are using a hot glue gun, you do want your parents' supervision because you're dealing with a hot object. For those of you who are wondering what glue I use, I, I, uh, I, don't, I like to use tacky glue but on this particular project it does not work very well. Um, so I'm going to have to use hot glue and kids be very careful. <laughs> because this can get very hot and you can get burned and it will hurt, so have the parent do this or at least supervise you. Once your basket is all dried, um, what you then want to do is you want to get the little um, uh, handle for the basket. So you just want to cut out a thin piece of foam, and it totally can be the same color if you want, or it can be a different color. I'm using a different color, and it's about uh, two short hair LPS cats tall, like so. So yeah, in case you were wondering. And you then want to glue it on the seam of the basket to help cover it up and then uh, put it on the other side and you want to glue that down. Okay, so once your basket or baskets dry, you then want to make some Easter grass. This part's optional. You can totally leave the baskets how they are or you can add some Easter grass. Oh, and by the way, you can also use pipe cleaners for the handles. Um, if you have pipe cleaners handy, I apparently used all mine up and I can't find any more, so yeah, I just sticked with foam. But you can totally, you know, just use pipe cleaners if you want to. But to make the Easter grass, you can use pipe cleaners also. Um, green paper, green tissue paper, um, or uh, green foam. So you want to cut um, a piece of uh, green paper, just a little thing and you want to start accordion, accordion folding it and you want to do the accordions in small 
little pieces so just go back and forth Once you have that, you, you look something like this, and then I'm going to cut mine in half to make the pieces of grass thinner. So now I have two, and then you can cut them into small little pieces, and you can cut them even thinner. I think that's what I'm going to do. And voila, here's your finished product. I think they look really cute and adorable. And they look perfect in case the Easter Bunny decides to come. And it's really fun because you can even use different colors of paper to make different colors of Easter grass. Oh, oh, hi. Hi. You almost forgot these. Oh, thanks. Um, well, yeah, these are the Easter eggs we made from part one. They're really cute and adorable, and you can put them inside your Easter basket to make a perfect Easter. This is so cute! Well, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to p watch part one as well, um, so you can make these adorable little Easter eggs. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you guys soon. Bye!